Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be looking at increasing, decreasing and bouncy numbers. This question appeared in ISC Computer Science 2023, Specimen Paper 2. According to the question, an integer whose digits are arranged in ascending order from left to right is called an increasing number. So if you look at this first example, 1, 2, double, 3, you will notice that each and every digit is arranged in such a manner that the number formed has digits arranged in ascending order. In all of these examples, if you check, you will notice that the digits are arranged in ascending order. Such numbers will be known as increasing number. Next, an integer whose digits are arranged in descending order from left to right is called a decreasing number. So here also, if you look at these examples, now here you will notice that the digits are arranged in descending order from largest to smallest. So when a number is formed by arranging the digits in such a manner, when the digits are arranged in descending order, such numbers will be known as decreasing number. And finally, a positive integer where the digits are neither in increasing order nor in decreasing order is called a bouncy number. So here again we have three examples and in all of these examples you will notice that the numbers are not sorted neither in ascending order nor in descending order. Such numbers will be known as bouncy numbers. So we need to design a program to accept a number that will contain only digits from 0 to 9. For an invalid input, we display an appropriate message. And we have to check whether the number is an increasing number or a decreasing number or a bouncy number. And accordingly, we display an appropriate message. And this is the format. This is example one. Enter a number, one double two three double four. So one double two three double four is an increasing number. Similarly, double eight seven double five two. This is a decreasing number. Example three, one eight five three four nine. This is a bouncy number. And finally, if other characters are present in the number apart from digits, then we display invalid input. And this example indicates that we should input the number as a string, not as an integer, because we want to check each and every digit over here. So that's the question. Let's write down the program now. So here I have created a file bouncy.java. And let's start with the import statement. Then we create the class, the main function. We create the scanner object. And now we ask for the number. Now to input the number, we are not going to use int or long data type for our variable. Instead, we will use string data type. Because after inputting, we need to check each and every digit of the number, whether any other character is included or not. That's why we give the string data type. So int dot next line. And assuming we have a function valid that will check whether this number is valid or not. So if I say if not valid, let's assume that this valid function is returning a Boolean value. If it is valid, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. So if it is not valid, the number that we have just entered, 
then it will display invalid input and from here we call the return keyword to exit from me and the program will terminate. So let's also create this uh, valid function. So we write over here public static the return type is boolean valid and string s. So we run the loop because we have to check each and every character. So starting from index 0 of the string and till the last index. So s dot length less than the length i plus plus and we extract the individual characters s dot carrot i. Now after extracting the character if not character dot is digit if the character is not a digit that means it is invalid the number is an invalid number and that's why immediately we return false indicating that the number is invalid and if the loop completes without returning false this indicates that the number must be valid so outside the loop we straight away write return true so this is our valid function which checks whether the number is valid or not now next we take two boolean variables boolean ascending and we keep it false and boolean descending also as false so initially i am assuming that the number is neither in ascending order of digits nor in descending order of the digits and then I will start the loop from index 1 not from 0 I'll tell you why in a while so I'm starting from index 1 and i is less than num dot length i plus plus now inside this loop I check or extract the previous character let's say char previous is equal to num dot caret i minus 1 because i ith character means the current character i minus 1th character means previous character so I have extracted the previous character and I am extracting the current character also so here I will write num dot caret i next if the previous character ascii value is less than the current character ascii value that means the number is in ascending so far the two digits that we are comparing they are in ascending order so that's why I will change this boolean variable ascending to true else if previous happens to be greater than the current the ASCII value of the previous character happens to be greater than the ASCII value of the current character in that case this indicates that the digits are arranged in descending order so descending is equal to true now after the loop completes each and every character will be checked the current character will be checked with the previous character that's why I started the loop from 1 and not from 0 because I had to extract the previous character also 
Now, if it is both ascending and descending, that means if both ascending and descending are true, what does it indicate? It indicate only one thing that the number is a bouncy number because in a bouncy number, you will have numbers in ascending order also. You will have the digits in descending order also. That's why if both the values are true, then I can print num is a bouncy number. Else if it is only ascending, only ascending is true suppose. That means the number is an increasing number, all the digits because only ascending value was true. Descending was not true. So system dot out dot print tell him num is an increasing number. Otherwise, there is only one option left. If the first two options are false, then it must be a decreasing number. So I'll write num is a decreasing number. And that's all our program is complete. Let's check the output. So let's enter one double two three double four. This is an increasing number. Let's try again double eight seven double five two. This is a decreasing number. One eight five three four nine. This is a bouncy number. And the last example nine eight hash five seven hyphen six four nine invalid input. So our program is running fine. I hope you have understood how to write a program to check whether the number is an increasing number or a decreasing number or a bouncy number in Java. If you still have any questions, you can always get in touch with me through comments. I also would like to inform you that recently I have launched my website. The URL of my website is robinsir.in. And here I'm posting the questions and I'm also giving the solutions. There is also a separate menu option for IAC class 12. So if you click over there, you will find a list of questions with their solutions. I'm updating this page every day. So stay tuned for more content. Thank you very much.